Some people think that all artists have had years of formal training at art schools and use the most expensive art materials. But this isn't always the case. Humans are creative and will rise above their circumstances to create no matter what. You might be at home right now without access to art supplies and asking, what can I possibly create in my situation? Looking to the world of self-taught and folk artists working within the limitations of their circumstances might inspire you. Using available art making materials goes back to the days of cave painting, where those artists used charcoal and red or yellow dirt to make their images. Could you explore drawing with a burnt stick or mixing up your own paints? There are a lot of paint recipes online that use evaporated milk or flour and salt. But one of the easiest is simply painting with tea, coffee, or soy sauce. My own children made this cartoon illustration and this flower painting from coffee. They were surprised how many layers of coffee it takes to get the dark values. In another example of layering, the artist Mark Keisman layers pieces of brown packing tape to create his images. Indigenous artists like Aming Pintor makes his own brushes from his own hair, or sometimes paints with different parts of his hands. Consider experimenting with found objects like a sponge or a plant and see what marks you can create. The surface that you're painting or drawing on doesn't have to be expensive canvas or art paper. This folk artist uses pieces of cardboard and this one paints on scrap metal he finds. Self-taught artist Simon Sparrow glued objects onto pieces of wood for his creations. If you don't feel like drawing or painting, printmaking is another art form that can be done with found objects. Maybe you can imagine how this image was made by pressing the rim of a glass and the tines of a fork onto the page. This was string and cardboard. This child created a symmetrical print by folding the paper. Look around your home for objects with interesting shapes on them and experiment with what you can create. Even something as simple as rubber bands can create an interesting line pattern. Let's not forget the world of three-dimensional art known as sculpture. What do you notice? What do you appreciate? And what do you wonder about these works by Gregory Warmack. Philadelphia Wireman. And Joseph Cornell. This sculpture is made from plastic lids that were going to be recycled. By reimagining them in these stacks, they take on a beautiful new purpose as sculpture. What objects can you find and put together? There are many skills involved in creativity. By making art from the things around you, you'll probably develop some new art skills You'll be engaging and persisting, envisioning and creating, and you'll probably evaluate and recreate as well. When you've made something, consider taking photos of it. Will you keep those photos for yourself or share them with others? The internet makes it easy to share with the world. You could use a program like Google Slides, Adobe Spark Video, Adobe Spark Page, 
or any social media app to create an online gallery the world could visit. Most artists write about their work, so the thoughts, concepts, and feelings they had about the work are known to others, and others can appreciate those things and not only what the creation looks like. Use the page provided to help you organize your thinking about those ideas in your work. As a beginner, give yourself permission to explore and experiment. You don't have to create great art, you can simply enjoy the process. Every artist started as a beginner there's no need to rush out of the early stages of simply playing with the materials. To create is to be human, and it fulfills a need in us all. Keep your eyes open to the world around you and know that you can make art from anything.